What's up everyone? We are at the LA Auto Show 2019. I'm really excited to be showing you around a lot of cool cars that are featured in this year's lineup. So we're going to be walking around and I'm going to show you some of the cool cars that are debuting for the 2020 model year along with some of my favorites. Stay tuned.
doing it with this new Volkswagen station wagon, the Vizion. Now this is just a concept car, but it is fully expected to be in dealerships or in production within two years. This car looks incredible. Again, everybody's borrowing from Tesla, the big screen. Got a really cool cluster, fully digital cluster. The steering wheel looks fantastic. The interior looks amazing. Now, obviously as a concept car, some of these features will not be in the production vehicle, but I'm curious to see what stays and what goes. According to Volkswagen reps, most of this will stay intact as is. If so, this is going to be an incredible car that's going to come out to me with a lot of other electric car makers. All the rage and talk has been about the new Mustang badge and the SUV, the Mach E. Now, honestly, I didn't care for it when I saw it pictured online, but it did not do it any justice. Now that I'm here looking at it in person, it is actually a really beautiful and stylish SUV. I think it's going to sell really well, and it's going to be a very competitive SUV in its segment. As you can see, the tail lights are taken pretty much right off of the Mustang design with those three lines there. Another cool thing that they're doing is they're giving it a lot of awesome colors. This looks really close to the Porsche Miami blue. So I'm really loving the styling and it accents really well with those white lights. Gotta give him credit. I didn't, didn't think I'd like it at first, but again, seeing it in person changed my whole perspective. You know, one thing that I am curious about is how it drives, how it handles. Those are all questions that people are going to have. Until we get it out on the road, we'll never know. But uh, I'm going to be checking out this presentation from Ford on the Mach-E here in just a few minutes. The new Sentry looks far better than the Apple generation. It looks a little bit more like the Maxima. More aggressive style. This is one of my favorite vehicles of the entire show, and that's hard for me to say, being a big Mercedes fan and getting a chance to check out their new lineup. Um, this is the second generation Toyota Mirai. Looks stunning. Looks way better than the first generation. This car is expected to be in dealerships on sale by 2021. This thing is just so gorgeous. That sloping roof kind of has that Audi a7 or a5 look but this car is gorgeous it's the hydrogen fuel cell it's supposed to have all new uh, fuel cell system much longer range i wish they would offer this in a gas engine this would be one of their most popular selling vehicles again just beautiful i can't get enough of it somebody told me that this actually has the mk4 wing on the back, which is really cool that they were able to modify it and make it work. How about that? Just a beautiful car. I would never buy one and I don't care to ever get one, but this car was at the SEMA car show just last week. I was actually most excited to come see the Land Rover Defender. It does not disappoint. Looks way better up front in person than it does on the end in any of the videos that I've seen. Yeah, Discovery. I heard they have over 100 and something accessories already made for the Defender. And I gotta tell you what, this is on my list. They have the 110 and the 90. That's the smaller one. Yeah, this is the 110. This thing is going to start just over $50,000. And I am excited to get my hands on one of these. New concept car, the SC2 from Karma. Supposedly going to have 1,100 horsepower. We'll see if this ever makes it to production. But... Wow. 
And guess what? They already have a Roadster version of it. It looks out of this world. Beautiful machines with a Bollinger V1 and V2. This is a U.S. automaker. You will hear their name soon. I think they come out in about a year or two. A lot of awesome features: removable windows, removable roof panels. It's going to be just over hundred thousand dollars for this car, but definitely a competitor in the off-road segment. Looking to get into a GLB by the end of this year. Definitely sitting inside the GLB in the back seat. I'm a bigger guy. A lot of legroom. Really comfortable. Seat four or five. And if you get the optional third row seating, which this one does not have. Panoramic sunroof. Really comfortable car. I love the trim. Multicolor with the stitching, a lot of leather. Definitely feels like a high quality luxury car. third row seating would go. There's virtually no room back here. Good enough for an SUV, but not large enough for third row seating. So I'm curious to see a third row seat spec in person. But it does have the automatic trunk lid, which my 2010 has. Automatic trunk lid closed. Really excited to see it. Of course, I'm taking it on a test drive. A couple of my initial reactions are the overwhelming theme in this year's auto show was companies showing that they can compete in the electric segment. Uh, the electric market is the fastest growing market in the automotive industry and a lot of automakers here, especially this year, are showing that they're able to compete, that they're able to come out with some great styles and designs and great specs, longer ranges on their batteries, uh, more horsepower, more power. Um, so that was the overwhelming theme of this year's show. Now, another thing that I've noticed is that it's getting really hard to ignore some of these um, other car manufacturers that have been seen as discount manufacturers, uh, especially the Korean brands. Hyundai and Kia are really making a name for themselves and really competing in the luxury market. Their cars are loaded with options and features at a fraction of what the competitors offer. Now, what they view some of their vehicles to be competitors with the likes of the Germans, the Audis, the Mercedes, the BMW. Um, and they're doing a fantastic job of competing, just loading up their vehicles with uh, all the options at a far lower price point, making it great value. And it's hard to ignore them.